Hi guys, uh, today I would like to show you uh, some tips on how to clean your gun. Well, at first we have some gun. Uh, this is my USB expert in in uh, Forty Smith and Wesson. Uh, it's my main gun. The gun is very fine. Uh, first we will start to felt strip the gun. Put the slide back. Take out. The slide stop. Yeah, I didn't clean the gun for last five shootings, so it's quite dirty. Uh, I will take some fabric. Uh, so this is the frame. It's quite light. It's made of plastic. <coughs> the magazine is out of the gun. I will take the slide and <coughs> take out the uh, recoil spring. And take out the bar. You can see that on the bar there is the plastic ring on the top. It's the speciality of this gun. It uh, it leads the bar exactly within the <coughs> within the housing. So it should be more accurate than other other guns. From my experience. Uh, Aclerco guns, uh, they are quite. The lock mechanism is quite tight, so there, there is, there are no exhaust gases uh, leaving the gun via some some holes in the mechanism. Generally, <coughs> you can see the gun just consists of these basic five five uh, items: uh, the body, the slide stop, recoil spring, the bore. And the slide itself. Well, to clean it first, for some parts I will use uh, Tri Clean, which takes care of the oil and dissolves some some substances. So I will just briefly spray on the parts. Okay, we'll start with the slide stop. And just, you just take the parts and properly clean it dry. And then the recoil spring. Yeah, I can take the toothbrush. Normal use toothbrush. <coughs> okay, I have uh, WD-40. It's just general lubricant. It doesn't. This dries out. So, if you if you don't use your gun very often, you don't want to use WD. It dries out and it would damage your gun. Okay, now the slide. Well, a little more of the sol solvent and then just take the brush and properly go through all the parts. The housing. Sides. And the outside as well. And it gets, it gets beautifully oiled. Okay, now it's time to clean uh, the, the frame. I will take just this uh, WD. It's a, bit, it's a bit worse. But I want just to scrub the, scrub the inner parts. I will take the brush. And I will just scrub the, the, the springs and everything. As I said, I didn't clean the gun for, for a while, so just and don't don't think about these things that much just take the brush spray it wait a bit and clean it so now it's done i will just take care about the excess lubricant you have few options how to clean the bore you can either use the brushes like this one, 
or you can use the boar snakes it's this thing well I personally quite like the just ordinary brushes so at first I will spray a lubricant into the bore just to get it wet and then I will use some first general uh, stick and take care of the really dirty parts just the biggest parts of the dirt yeah. and I can take care of the bore I will loop it again take the 40 brush and properly push it through second time and once last time <coughs> with the nice and it's clean 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 to put the gun back to one piece I will just take the bore put the bore inside the uh, slide take the recoil spring Put that in, push a bit, yeah, take the slide, slide it onto the frame, yeah, you can see uh, there's some perforation, just put the perforation where it is, yeah, put the slide back and done. Take care of the excessive loop. And good as new.